You've just dialed in live to the center of the grilling universe. That's right, guys. It is red hot and ready, and today we're cruising in slow. We're creeping in low. We're going into the Golden Triangle. You know what I'm talking about? This ain't Nam, baby. No, this is Thailand. This is far worse. But you weren't supposed to even be there, right? They said, no, you're not there, man. You're not eating Thai food. You're back in Nam. Tell you, man, we were there, okay? I just... All right. And I'm going to even that out by discovering the unique tastes and cultures of Thailand. Yeah, so we're going to, so I'll tell you, man, we were in the jungle for four days. We learned how to cook some fantastic food, man. And the best thing about it was, then we're going to go down. We're just going to go, we're just going to go, we're going to hit. To the grill. You know, when you're Jones for something, you know, like, and, and, and there's nothing around, you know, you know what you gotta do? You, you gotta head out, you gotta get yourself something to eat. When you're in Thailand, eating is sweet, okay? So we're gonna make, we're making this thing called Kanam Krok, right? Okay, we're just gonna start making it, but we're gonna finish it later because we're not gonna eat it now because we have other things. It's my kind of party. We gotta heat up a pot, right? Wow. Don't do that. You could die. Okay, so what we got here, we got like this jasmine rice, right? This grown in the mountains, right? Up where they grow all those other things, you know? You know what I mean? That's right. You gotta put about a cup of this jasmine rice in the pot. It's the stuff that comes from the mountains, right? Okay, and this is gonna be really sweet. And then you, uh, you pour in some water, and, and basically you just kind of cook it. But, but then you got this other rice, and, and, and that's, uh, that's just got to be soaked, right? Because you're not going to cook it. You're just going to soak it, and you're going to cook this rice, but, but you soak this one. Okay, cool. Okay, but while, while this is cooking, what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a, I'm going to show you what, oh, man. Did you feel that? No. That was crazy, man. That's right, I'm screaming too. We got our shrimp from the Gulf of Thailand, right? You don't get these in the mountains so much because, because, because they come from the ocean, okay? So we like to peel off the shells because later on we're going to cook them. And if you eat them with the shells on, it's like, oh man, it's kind of cool. It's kind of crunchy. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so we peel these off, right? Okay, so you peel them like that. Okay, I'm just showing you how to do it because, you know, I didn't know how to do it when I got there and they laughed at me. I, I didn't know what they're saying because it's a different language and all, but, you know, laughing is laughing. It doesn't matter what language, it makes you feel bad. Okay, so I'll do the rest of that later. And these are a couple of my friends from school. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Squids in the swing. <laughs> okay, look, you got a body here, and you pull it apart, and you pull the guts out, right? I, I got my eye on you. Get it? That's the eyes there, okay. Then you get a knife. You get a knife, right? Nah, nah. Then you get a knife, and you chop the eyes off, right? Because. I don't know about you, man, but when I'm eating my food, I don't want to looking at me. A very scary thing. Okay, so, so we got the squid and, and we got a rice that's cooking now and it's going to be cooked later, okay? I'm not going to show you all the cooking because it takes too long. But I'm going to come back and me and a couple of my friends, we're going to be cooking up dinner, right? Okay, so don't be jonesing, man. Come on back. And hey, a friend with weed is a friend indeed. Thailand has a rich culture and amazing cuisine. If you're looking for a hot and spicy dining experience, then Thai is definitely the way to go. Today we've got Sue from the Thai Chili House here to talk to us about Thai cooking and Thai culture. So stick around because we're getting lucky. You'll see what I mean. Who the hell was that guy anyway? I don't know, man. Okay, what are we cooking today? We're cooking Thai food. Thai is a fantastic kind of cuisine, man. It's got hot, sweet, sour, spicy, and bitter, okay? These are the five groups of flavor, right? And they're all laid out in a way that all complement each other. You create a harmony through all these different flavors. Let's get right to it, man. We got our seafood here. We're gonna toss this right in the bowl. We're gonna marinate this up. This is gonna be going on to a seafood salad. We're gonna have mango, papaya. It's all good, man. It's very good and very Thai. Obviously, somebody forgot the eyes, but that's okay. Look, hey, that other guy might be afraid of something looking at him, but to me, looking death straight in the eye, 
That's where the kick is, right? Because I'm the barbecue master. What do we have here to marinate this in? We got some lemongrass. This is like a reedy type grass that grows and it is really a strong lemony flavor. Check that out, bud. What do you think? Mmm, huh? Lemony. Okay, that's going straight in. We're just going to squeeze it a bit, bruise it up, and that's going to uh, release the flavors a bit. We got some fresh Thai green chilies. These things are uber hot. I I'd try one right now, but I wouldn't be speaking for the rest of this segment, so don't worry about it. Just know that they're hot, and that's the way I like them. We got some fresh basil, Thai basil. Very much like the, the European basil, but you know, it comes in different varieties. Sometimes a little bit more sort of citrusy flavor, sometimes very strong on the licorice end of things. We got some mint, very common flavor in Thai cooking as well. We got some lime juice, juice of a lime. We got some shallots, okay? These are the sweet little red onions that grow. Very nice. And last but not least, we got some fish sauce, okay? This is crazy stuff. This is, well, I probably told you about this before in other episodes, but I'll tell you again. What it is, it's dried, rotted fish, brined, and this is the resulting liquid that comes off them. Sounds appealing? Damn right. Mmm, rotten fish. Eat them up, yum. Straight in, okay? We also have our shrimp. We'll dump them in. Just give it a little toss. And seafood actually doesn't take long to marinate, right? You're just gonna let it sit there for an hour at the most, you know? Otherwise, the acidity in this is gonna start cooking your fish. Okay, let me get my hands cleaned off here. Put that to the side. Take a look at that. Behold the beauty of squid. But look damn good. Here, we have flank steak. This is a very, very interesting cut of meat, right? Very little fat on it. Any fat or sinew, you wanna just trim off lightly, but there's not very much. See, this is just gonna take a second. Okay, look, let's cut this in half, make it more manageable on the grill. And the thing is, when we cook this, we're gonna cook it to a rare, medium rare at the most. Otherwise, you're just not gonna be able to eat it, okay? Why did I put that back there when really I should be putting it in the bowl? Let's toss this in here. I think this should be enough for our salad, okay? Let's marinate it up. We got Thai red chilies. It's basically almost the same chili as that green chili, but it's, you know, well, it's red and tastes slightly different. It tastes a little bit sweeter. We got four cloves of garlic, chopped up, rough chop. Got some nice brown sugar there. That's about half a cup, three quarters of a cup. And that's gonna create it to caramelize nicely on the grill. It's gonna create a fantastic flavor. More lemongrass, okay, breaking that up as well. A little bit of cinnamon, one of those really exotic kind of Asian spices. That was about two teaspoons. We got about a quarter cup of mint. Just bruise that up a bit, get the flavor happening. Got some lemon and lime juice, one each, okay? And we got a couple tablespoons of that fish sauce again. And fish sauce actually, not only is it a seasoning sort of flavoring ingredient, but it is a salt substitute, okay? You do not need to salt your food when you add this in. because Yeah? Toss this up. Okay, so let this stuff sit as long as you can, okay? There's plenty of things you can do while you're waiting, man. Look, grab yourself a Thai beer, grab yourself a Thai whiskey, grab both, put them together, it's a lot of fun. And even better than that, get yourself all oiled up and have one of them great Thai massages. But kids, remember, let's keep it clean. We're here with Sue from the Thai Chili House. Swadika. And today we're talking about Thai cuisine. Now, what types of flavors should someone expect when they're going into a Thai restaurant? Hot. <laughs> Hot, hot, and more hot? <laughs> no, hot. I would say hot, sweet, and sour, and salty. And what types of ingredients are normally used in Thai cooking? We used a lot of, uh, this is called lemongrass. Uh huh. Galanga. Galanga, and mm -hmm. what actually is that? This is Thai ginger. Okay. Um, garlic, lime, and last but not least, lots of chilies. And what about the fish sauce? Fish sauce, we use them um, instead of salt. We don't use salt at all. Okay. What sorts of dishes can someone uh, enjoy when they go into a Thai restaurant? Of course. Red curry, uh -huh. green curry, and uh, spring rolls. Those are my favorite. Okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about the curries? Um, red curry, we make them with the red curry paste and uh, uh, coconut milk. Uh-huh. Okay. How hot is that one, Sue? That's, we make them all medium hot here. Okay. We don't make them too, too hot. Okay, and what about the green? Uh, green is a little bit milder than red. Now, how is Canadian Thai food different from authentic Thai food? Uh, authentic Thai food is much hotter, uh -huh. much, much hotter. Okay, and mm. why is the food so hot? In Thailand, it's, the weather's so hot, they perspire a lot, they sweat mm -hmm. a lot. They need a lot of energy, and hot helps them to give them energy. And what do you have over here? 
Uh, that shredded green papaya, uh -huh. that's um, the main dish in Thailand. If you go to Thailand, you see it everywhere. You see it everywhere. Everywhere, every corner. That's how it is. Stick around because later on we're talking about Thai culture and whipping up on authentic sum tum. It's all about fun. You're in a caveman here on Red Hot and Ready. We're back with Sue from the Thai Chili House, and she's about to show us how to make a Thai salad. Sum tum, yes. And it's a papaya salad? It is papaya salad, sum tum. Okay, and how do we make it? Well, um, this is garlic, half a clove of garlic. Uh -huh. Okay, it goes in here. And then, if we want hot, we put lots of chilies, dry chilies or fresh chilies, but I, I use dry chilies. We'll okay. put four today. And a little bit of uh, shredded papaya. I put it all in the mortar and pesto, and we pound, pound it first. Until the um, garlic is all ma mashed up and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's great, very okay. colorful. Yes. All set there. And now, put more papaya in there. That looks great. Very colorful. Thank you. And a uh, little bit of uh, tomato. Okay. I would say half. I, I put it half. Cut it in slice. Mm hmm. This is, it has to be done fresh, okay? Once you finish, you gotta eat it right away. Okay. Don't, don't leave it. <laughs> okay, and then um, say two spoons of fish sauce. fish sauce, yeah. That's about it. Okay. And then sugar. One spoonful of sugar. And a quarter of the lime, fresh lime. Okay, so this is very, very fresh dish. It is very fresh, very, very fresh. And um, even fresher if you leave the lime um, peels in there. Oh, really? So we leave them in there. Okay. Okay, and then we we'll pound more. Oh, that even smells great. It's very, very tasty, mm. very tasty. You just have to mix it well. All mixed up now. Mm, that looks great, Sue. And just serve it right now. I'm going to try what? a little piece right sure. out there. Mmm, <laughs> that tastes great. Now, Sue, tell us a little bit about the carving that you brought today. Oh, that lady, she's um, wearing the very traditional dress uh -huh. and um, she's making flower lace. And they bring those flower lace to temple, um, put in the car. Good luck. You heard it here, boys. Thai food, red hot and lucky. Well, it's actually pretty spicy. It is. <laughs> I put four. <laughs> well, we usually put three in the restaurant, mm -hmm. but I just want to make it a little bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes great. It is a little spicy, but I love spicy food. It tastes great. Mmm. Mmm. You give it to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, baby. What's that all about? <laughs> that means early next week, the sporting goods stores will be stocking up on ping pong balls again, okay? You know what I'm saying? Straight down to the grill. Our flank steak, this isn't going to take long at all because we're eating this rare, right? We're eating this as rare as the day it was born. Awful. The worst television you could imagine. Yeah. Carnivores. Basically, we're just cooking this until the color changes, until it's no longer translucent, okay? Got our tiger shrimp farmed in the Gulf of Thailand. Mm. The last time I was in Bangkok, they were calling me tiger, but there was no shrimp involved. You know what I'm saying? It was all tiger meat. Okay, we got to make a base for our fine oriental proteins, okay? Here we go. First, we're going to start with the seafood. Got some nice Boston bib lettuce here, okay? This stuff is tender. It's oh so soft. And texture is what half of this kind of cooking is about. Half of any kind of cooking, really, you know? It's the flavors, the color, and the texture. How it makes you feel overall, okay? I'm gonna make up a dual salad plate here, okay? So we got our shredded Boston bib here. Very, very nice. We got some cherry tomatoes. Just gonna leave them whole, throw them around the edge, you know? Big bursts of red flavor, right? That's, that's right, red does have a flavor, and this is it right here. We got some papaya, fresh papaya. Toss that on. And we got some mango. Just gonna peel it down here. And cut it into a little bit of dice. 
The rest of that we're saving as an offering to Buddha. Be heading to temple a little later on. You know what I'm saying. Okay, fold this over. Pull out the big guns here. Okay, and it's all about the taste, man. Isn't this the easiest? Look at that. Straight in there. This, the flavor of all those other ingredients, you know, like we got the shrimp, we got the squid, with eyeballs, just the way they'd serve it in Thailand. That's not true. And turn this over. I look cracked black pepper to that. And I think our seafood is just about ready. Now it's, it's let me know it's ready anyway, okay? Turn all this stuff over quickly. You can see how it's changed color. Wanna see something cool? There's the eyeballs. Ugh. Okay. I believe we still have some brains intact as well. Okay. That is looking good. We're still at a rare there. Close this down for two seconds. We're gonna finish off this dressing. A little bit of lime juice. And a very, very Thai ingredient right now. A favorite of Suk San Si is this fresh mint, man. This is great. Okay, check it out. And this, as I said, is going to Buddha a little later on because he's been so good to us, we've got to pay him back a little bit ourselves. This, romaine lettuce, once again. Take off the ratty ends, okay? The Thais would never use a ratty end. What the hell are they thinking? But it works. Here we are. Shredded, no ratty end romaine, okay? Look for it in your supermarket. Check on aisle 15, please. Wedge tomatoes. Mm-mm. Tomato goodness. Just like the cherry tomato, except bigger, you know, not as much flavor. These babies are where all the flavor's at. These have a slightly different quality to them. What's the connection? Got some cucumber on here. Got fresh chopped chili. Amazing. That's where all the heat is. Some shallots. Those tiny little red sweet onions. Got some fresh basil, and we're gonna reserve half of that for the beef, okay? We also have a little bit of ginger here, which actually I'm gonna mix in here with some sesame oil, and then I'm gonna pour some fish sauce in. Okay, pour that gently over here. Something smells kinda of funky in there. Okay, these are so ready to come off. Just perfect, right? Don't want to cook them any further. But listen, when we come back, this is all going to be ready for you to try. But next, the most important thing is Ganam Krok. What the heck is that? Hey guys, you ever been kicked in the Kanam Croc? Ouch. Ooh, no, it doesn't feel so good, but it tastes thai alicious. Man, this is great. Let me show you how this goes. Okay, this is a fantastic little dish that's made with rice. Obviously, they got a lot of this over there. They got to be creative with it, right? This is jasmine rice, very perfumey rice, very much like the Indian basmati rice, except, haha, it smells like jasmine. Go figure. We're just going to dump this into the bowl. Don't worry about your fingers. It's all going to be going up to temperature. Any bacteria that you have from the night before, that's all gone. 300 degrees, it's not gonna happen there, is it, okay? Strain the water out of this. We're gonna toss it into a blender. We now take a couple tablespoons, almost half a cup of cooked jasmine rice. Toss that in. We got some coconut milk, half a cup. That's going straight into the mix as well. And we got some palm sugar, okay? This is sugar produced from a palm tree, okay? Very good, very palmy, very sugary, hence, palm sugar. Straight in. Now what we do, we throw the lid on this baby, tighten it up, prevent any accidents, and give it a little puree. Okay, once it gets down to a nice wallpaper paste-like consistency, mmm, wallpaper paste. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Off we go. Mmm, wallpaper paste. Oh yeah. Okay, at this point, what I'd like to show you is what we do. We pour it into our ramekins. This is not an Asian invention, by the way. Because it's French, baby. Ironically enough, the French seem to have some sort of interest in what went on in Asia. I don't know what it was. Oh, oh yeah, they owned them for a while. Is this normal? At this point, we're going to take our coconut milk that we have here, 
and some more palm sugar. Take almost all of it and mix that up. It's more dramatic that way. Now we pour this on top, just about three quarters, okay? Just like that. Take a little foil, because what we're trying to do, we're trying to catch as much heat and steam inside of these things as possible. Because you're not going to take long to cook at all, maybe three, five minutes tops, depending upon your heat. You kick it over fairly high heat, just because, well, that's what the Thais do. And if, when in Thailand, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about that. Throwing this on. What we're going to do is we're going to throw it on to a fairly high heat, as I said. I've done this before. Trust me, it's going to work. Straight in. And a word to the wise, remember, before doing anything, make sure you have adequate protection because you do not want to get kicked in the Kanam Croc. Kanam Croc. Kanam Croc. Who's Croc? It's a Kanam's crotch. Croc. Crockety thing. And what exactly is that? i got to show you what this is. This is amazing, okay? Check this out. It's a sweet, sweet little treat from the middle of, well, Thailand. Is it dessert? It's a dessert. Look at that. Golden brown. Look, Look at, at you with this silverware display. I'm a man of the world, you know this. Have some Kanam Croc. Mm. So this is a dessert. This is a dessert a from dessert. Thailand that all the kitties eat. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Crunchy. Sweet and hot. Okay, you thought that was sexy? Never mind that. Check out this piece of the resistance, mm. right? Beautiful. That's an amazing platter. It looks we got great. A Thai seafood salad. Mm -hmm. We got squids. Look at that. Still eyes, brains, beaks attached, okay? Fish truly is brain food, okay? In this case, anyway. And we got our beef, our flank steak, marinated flank steak. It's That's on a. Perfect. Oh, yeah. It's, it, and it's, it's so good for you. Mm. Sweet, spicy, hot. Oh, man. This is what Thai cooking's all about. Mmm. It's good, huh? That's great. Mmm. It's even a little bit spicy, actually. Because, as they say in Thailand, knock knock, what, what, talk. We are red hot and ready. <laughs> and we're the home of smoky good eats.